and we're uh, happy to be here throughout the afternoon with workshops, the opportunity to partner, to find out about uh, incredible projects and organisations across the City of Toronto who are interested in connecting with the purpose of developing creative spaces outside of the downtown core. This uh, event is brought to you by a project that Artscape is really proud to lead, a partnership of 15 city building organisations, the Creative Spaces Partnership uh, Group, um, all of whom are working together to advance the conversation, build capacity and advocate for the development of creative and cultural facilities outside of the downtown core. Before I hand over to uh, my colleagues Tim Jones and Claire Hopkinson, let me please just um, thank uh, a few people as we always have to on these occasions. Let me thank and give a big shout out to the whole team at Toronto Centre of the Arts, our venue sponsor. To our lead media sponsor, Spacing, hopefully you've all bought the latest edition of Spacing magazine. I also want to really um, say a huge thank you to our colleagues at North York Arts who uh, both today and in the last few months have played a big role in uh, supporting this event. And uh, finally, uh, in addition to the 15 Creative Spaces Outside the Core partners, and you can see their logos all over the literature and I'm not going to read them out to you now. I do want to give um, a big shout out finally to Artscape staff for the incredible work they put into what I think you'll agree is an exceptional event. And especially to my team in the Creative Placemaking Lab, our former Much Missed Summer intern Craig Lamb, and our Programme Manager Melissa Routley, who's, who's done an incredible job of putting this event together for you today. So um, it's my pleasure um, to welcome Tim Jones, um, CEO of Artscape, just to say a few words about uh, the event today. Uh, thank you very much, crew, and uh, congratulations to everybody who's been part of this uh, incredible event. You can hear behind me, most people are here doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is talking. So we're going to be really brief with our remarks today, uh, really just to welcome you here today and to acknowledge uh, really this important topic of building cultural space outside the core. I think we've done a great job in Toronto at building a vibrant downtown. The cultural facilities have really been the magnets that have attracted all kinds of other businesses and investments to the, to the downtown. And there are lots of reasons why creative people cluster together in dense urban environments that happens all over the world. But that is not to say that we shouldn't put just as much effort into building cultural space outside of downtown areas. And that's what today's event is about, is to find new kinds of partnerships, new kinds of ways to work together in order to do just that. You know, there are lots of things that culture do, culture does for communities, the way that it, it can actually be a really point of urban acupuncture in communities that are challenged, in communities that are kind of growing, communities that are changing. So if we look at the kinds of challenges that our city has, uh, we've talked a lot in the last election about a divided city, uh, the need to actually pull together. We think that culture can play a big role in that. And this is important, I think, to all of us in this room. It's also especially important to Artscape. Uh, it's been a strategic priority of ours to really be a part of this movement, but also to put our money where, money where our mouth, how, how do I get this metaphor right? <laughs> Uh, put our monies where our mouth is and invest in this, this kind, of, kind of activity. So we've just announced uh, in the last number of months uh, the first uh, community cultural hub that we're developing outside the core in Weston, for corners of Lawrence uh, Road in Weston. And we're really, you can find out more information about that at our booth, but we're really looking forward to working with many of you to figure out how we can build other kinds of innovative partnerships uh, to, so that Artscape can play a role in, in, um, in bringing uh, this kind of activity into your communities. Uh, now I'd like to, um, and by the way, have people looked at their program and looked at the exhibitor map? I think it's quite phenomenal when you look at the kind of, the group of exhibitors here today, and how far and why they are distributed across the city. I think this is just the beginning of the conversation. And I look forward to, in years to come, to be seeing double and triple the number of dots on, the, on this map. 
Uh, now it gives me great, great pleasure to introduce uh, Claire Hopkins Hopkinson. She is the uh, director and CEO of Toronto Artscape and Toronto Artscape Foundation and one of our partners in this event. Did I get that right? Kind of. Almost. <laughs> Thank you. Everything he said, except I'm actually with the Toronto Arts Council and the Toronto Arts Foundation, but, you know, we've been such buddies for so long. So this is a fantastic turnout, and it doesn't really matter if anybody can hear, because they'll be reading about it on Twitter later. So. <laughs> but thanks for coming out. Thanks to North Air Guards, TCA, for helping to host. This is a really important event. Big kudos to Prue and Tim and Toronto Artscape for producing this really important event for Toronto's arts community. <laughs> Partnerships between the arts and the community are a key way in which we can transform this city, knit together community, build understanding, and enliven neighborhoods through the arts. So as many of you know, you know the Toronto Arts Council, we support the city's artists and our arts organizations by allocating city funds towards programming, sorry, in all areas of the city. And with new funding from the city, we've been allocating some three million new dollars in grants to strategic priorities, community connections, and partnerships. New funds streaming to artists working in all areas of the city, wonderful collaborative partnerships with organizations such as Toronto Public Libraries, museums and heritage sites, Toronto District School Board, and others. Exceptional and innovative new art has been created and presented in previously underserved areas. But moreover, it's been a real joy working with these partners, and we've learned a lot. On the Toronto Arts Foundation side, which is developing and producing programs with private sector funding, our Neighborhood Arts Network with 1,300 members all over the city is illustrating the need, the desire, and frankly, the demand for arts connection. And our shared vision for both organizations is Creative City Block by Block, connecting every Toronto neighborhood with the transformative social and economic benefits for the arts. Now, we hear the constant refrain from artists about the need for space, the availability of space, the cost of space. No doubt this is even more so true for outside the downtown core. So how can we as a city ensure that all of our residents have access to great art if there are no spaces in which to create or produce it? Artscape's incredible work and development projects can only go so far. So we must also find ways to enliven space, not necessarily designed for arts, and this is where your visionary partnerships can make all the difference. Now a new big, 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 big project that I'm so happy about, the TAC and the Foundation is doing, is the new Arts in the Parks program, with support from Mayor John Tory, Arts Advocate Councillor John Fillion in this ward, City Parks and with community partners like Park People, we are supporting and promoting free arts programming in parks outside the downtown core. So please check out our display way back there for more information on this program. Finally, I'm very, very hopeful that these conversations today, we will find opportunities to collaborate on projects and initiatives throughout the city. TAC and the Foundation are delighted to be part of this great event and these important, potentially game-changing conversations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Claire, from the Toronto Arts Council and the Toronto Arts uh, Foundation. Um, so I'm just here to tell you that in a few minutes our first workshops will be happening. If you have registered for a workshop, then you should be making your way to them. If you didn't register or couldn't get in and would still like to see if there's space, there's a rush line that you can join. Um, and those both start at 2 o'clock, one in the studio, uh, which I'm pointing at now, because if you're behind me and I say, I, I can't give you directions, it's too complicated, and one in the lower gallery. We also have the first of our facilitated area meetups happening at 2 o'clock. For those of you in the west of the city, uh, if you're interested in connecting with partners 
fantastic collaborators from the West. That's taking uh, place in the Curve Lounge uh, towards the front of the facility. Um, all of this is quite well signed. I hope you find your way around. I hope you make time to visit all 63 of our incredible exhibitors today. This is the heart and soul of this event. And I hope you'll uh, stick around uh, to relax with a drink with us at the end of the day. I think we'll all need it by then. For now, thank you very much for coming out and enjoy your afternoon with us.